morning students uh, today we will discuss about the differences between this lease and payment account and income respect teacher account so here are the basis of differences and first one is nature on the basis of nature as you can see the making of the teacher payment account is very similar to cash book the debit side represents all the receipts as cash book shows and credit side represents all the payments as cash book shows and you can show the income respect teacher account also it is like very similar to a nominal account it shows only incomes and expenditures so it is a uh, just like a trading and pnl account it is image as the pnl account trading account we record only debit side expenses and right side we record only incomes so this is very similar to this now the second point of difference account from the point of view account the golden rules of accounting if we see if we see so as cash book is the example of a real account so this is the example of real account as well Because it is very similar to a cash book. This is a payment account with the example of real account. So because it is the making of income respect teacher account is very similar to trading and payment account. So this is the example of a nominal account as we discussed already. Now the next point of difference, sides on the basis of sides. As you can see, both the formats are having two sides, debit side, credit side. But if we talk about this is a payment account, then this is a payment account represents debit side represents receipts. And can you say the difference? All the payments. Whereas if we talk about income and expenditure account, then debit side of income and expenditure account represents all the expenditures, and credit side represents all the incomes. Now the next point for difference is capital and revenue nature of items. So if we look into the receipts and payment account, both the nature of items, whether it is revenue or capital, they are being shown into the this format. As you can see, capital receipts. Revenue receipts, and here you can see capital expenditures and revenue expenditures. But if we talk about income and expenditure account, in this format only revenue nature of items are shown. Left hand side represents all the revenue expenditures. Right hand side represents all the revenue incomes. Next point for difference, opening balance. If we if we see from the point of view opening balance, then the receipts and payment account starts with opening balance of cash in hand and cash in bank you can see but if you talk about income and expenditure account there is no opening balance this is the difference then if we differentiate on the basis of results or also we can say end result so after making of the receipts and payment account we are having closing balance as by balance sheet cash in hand and cash in bank closing balance of cash in hand cash in bank where if we see into the income and expenditure account it is not showing any kind of closing balance but it is showing profit or loss if credit side is more than debit side then difference will be profit and if debit side is more than credit side then difference will be loss deficit then the last point is balance sheet from the point of view balance sheet if you are making the receipts and payment account then it is not necessary that this is accompanied by a balance sheet but if we are preparing income and expenditure account after making income and expenditure account there will be a necessary thing to prepare balance sheet So I think the differences are clear to all. Thank you.